Have you guys ever sat down to film something and you're looking at yourself and you're like, it's okay. And then like the moment you're about to press play to record, your self-confidence just takes like a divot and like your hair feels flat, your face feels chubby, like everything else. No, just me. Welcome back guys to another video. Um, I'm very well aware that this video is kind of all over the place. Like, where's the fucking camera quality? Where the heck am I? Well, fellow manga enjoyers, I'm in my living room because why the heck not? Um, I wanted to show off my cool collection even though it's very limited because our apartments don't allow much stuff. Anyways, we got fairy tale manga, we got Halo books, we got Master Chief's helmet, we got the Needler, we have the playbook from Infinity War the premiere, we have Dark Souls up here, boy, even though, even though Dark Souls just doesn't treat anybody well. Supernatural Monopoly and there's more stuff I just can't show you. So in today's video we're going to be doing a live reaction to Eden Zero Chapter 12 Skull Fairy which I'm very excited for. Last chapter we actually found out that it's not time travel, it's uh, a monster roaming around in space eating time and then Ursi came out of nowhere. Am I excited that Ursi's back again? Yes for her character, no for Urza's face. I was actually having a conversation with one of the commenters about this that I hate how similar it looks to Urza. Like, Shiki and uh, Rebecca obviously look like Natsu and, uh, ha wow, Ooh, so many names, obviously look like Natsu and Lucy, but it's not as bad as, you know, Urza. Happy is a little, I mean, Happy is an exception to me because it's not like the biggest deal in the world, but it definitely still is kind of bothersome, but, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out. But with Urza, it's like exactly to a T, no difference, and I don't know, that's something that bothers me. But we'll see what happens in this chapter. But before I get into that, you guys know there's a poll going on in the top right-hand corner where you guys get to rate the chapter, five stars down to one star, anything in between. Last chapter was actually kind of interesting. 66% of you thought it was 5 stars, 22% of you thought it was 4 stars, and 11% of you thought it was 2 stars. So somebody really didn't like that chapter. Um, which is interesting, because I want to know what they didn't like about it. So make sure to participate in the poll, and if you can, always leave a comment so I know where you're coming from. And even, like, list, like, oh, I voted, you know, 5 stars because of this, or I voted 2 stars because of this, and, like... You know, don't be afraid to comment what you think because, like, if anything gets really out of hand, I'll step in and, you know, defend your guys' opinions because it's important to have a very, you know, calm atmosphere. So anyways, with that, let's just get into the video. So the first page, we have Dr. Weeze or Dr. Wise. I'm going to keep saying a mixture of both. I've noticed that in my videos. And the bunny girl, which... I know this is very early, but I really like the way the two of them look together, and I really like her face. It's so, like, drawn out, like, I don't even know how to, how do I explain it? Hiro Mashima's art style has gotten so much better, even with side characters, you know what I mean? Like, she's not playing a huge part in it, but she's definitely drawn to AT, and I love it. Alright, so we have Ursi's ship. We're being pulled in. What the hell is happening? Ships from Fu- from the future are wild. I believe we are in danger. What is it, Rebecca? She's, oh, maybe, maybe Rebecca knows her. Shiki's adventure quickly hanging on the edge of a cliff. I love ads. <sighs> it's not gonna load. All right, that flag. The great pirates who rule over the seven cosmic seas. Elsie Crimson. See, I heard people say that it's not Elsie, it's Ursi. So, I'm not really sure what to say. I'm gonna keep going with Ursi because, you know, but if I if I figure it out later, I will definitely change it again. So, apparently, Ursi's a very, very big deal. The Cosmic Seas. Get us out of here, Professor. Got it, got it. I should have never gotten on this ship. <laughs> if we get caught, who knows what they'll do to us? Why would they target such a busted ship like this? It's no use, we're getting pulled in. I wonder, so she wants the ether gear from Shiki, right? Welcome to my battleship, the Skull Fairy. Shiki's just, <laughs> Shiki's just balancing over here like nothing. I am the captain of this ship. 
Ersty, we've taken control of your ship's control system. You know, the more it says Elsie, the more I just want to say Elsie, so I apologize, I'll change it again, Elsie. Oh, she's pretty. No, I liked you with the bunny girl. Not, not, not to, oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, they look so similar, and I'm so used to reading, like, 500 chapters worth of fairy tale that I just keep saying not to. Shiki. Rebecca is terrified. I really don't like Rebecca having that look on her face, and Pino's just like, what? First of all, I'd like to con congratulate you from escaping Norma. The cloud-like barrier you all went through, called the Wall of Time, is the remains of what the Chronophage has done to the planet. Only very skilled pilots could have gotten away from that. Shut up, doctor. He's just like, oh my god, yes. But only idiots could be caught so easily by the ship's tractor beam. <laughs> what do you guys want? Hmm. We plunder, I guess. Then fight, eat, sleep. So basically a normal pirate. Then we loot again. She looks more like um, Irene Belserion when she does that face than... Urza from Fairy Tale. Miss Rebecca, it seems that your bladder is nearing full capacity. Would you like to go to the toilet? Can, can, can you not say things people don't need to hear? Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, you guys are my property. I'm gonna sell you guys off in the planet Gillist? To behave and do behave until then. I like that we're saying like this evil character. Planet Gillist? Isn't that a pretty fun place? 50 years ago, that is. Now it's famous for being a den for bad guys like bandits. Murders, robberies, human trafficking. It's a lawless land where anything illegal goes. There's a geezer who really likes kids like you. These are different. Wait a minute. Those antennas. Give me a second. No, okay. I thought she, these antennas kind of look like Pinos. We can sell this one at a high price. Why does he talk like that? We can sell this one at a high price. Ew, I don't like that. I'm never doing that again. Especially that girl. I bet the old man is going to love her. Ew. Wait a sec. I have nothing to do with these guys. Hey, let me join you guys, please. Professor, you scum. I'm pretty confident in tinkering with machines. What do you say? I could make the ship even faster. What the heck are you doing? Are you trying to betray your friends? Hey, I wasn't planning on being your friend. Aww. Wait a minute. Not me. Rebecca and Happy are your friends, right? Aww. Not even him. That's 50 years in the future, isn't it? Okay, this is definitely a... I hate to say it, but it's really a Natsu versus Grey moment right here that's really bringing back memories. But this kind of looks more like when um, E and D came out. Like, that's how fierce it looks. I know that just this is a tiny little argument, but still. What's going to happen to us? All right, we're going to have to take a lot of nasty videos today. What? The naked kind of, Let's go on a million views. Shut up, Happy. Rebecca really looks terrified. Like, I know this is supposed to be a joke, but, like, she looks, like, very messed up. I'm not going down without a fight. But we cannot move the ship. Ah, uh, but the sh But we gave the ship to that trashy professor over there. Now behave. I've got a good idea. We'll take over this pirate ship. I'm for that. Your ship will be ours. Oof! <laughs> yes, take that. Aw, oh, Rebecca's just like, what? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted a big ass ship. Haha, <laughs> lucky us. So you're saying that you're going to take over this ship? Yup, that's exactly it. You guys did that to us first, so I don't want to hear any complaining. My boy. Oh my god, he's so confident. So you think you can make it all the way here. Interesting. Take a left and head straight. I'm two floors above. But that's only if you can get to where I am. Just you wait. <laughs> Cheeky! Always so unreasonable. However, that is indeed one way to break free from our current predicament. With how strong Shiki is, we might actually be able to get out, but his opponent is Elsie Crimson. It isn't like me to stand around here doing nothing. Guess I'll go wild for a bit. Professor? 
I'm gonna get revenge on that pretty lady for catching me. <laughs> Ew. What is that? That looks like the flood from Halo. Oh my god. This literally looks like the spores on the walls in Halo. <laughs> Let me know if any of you guys have played Halo and obviously you know what the flood is if you played Halo. But this is reminding me a lot of that. If little fucking things or like zombie-like creatures come out of this, this is straight from Halo. What's with the ship? It's giving me the creeps. Okay, no, these are people. Cool, cool, cool. It's about time you showed up, you space pirates. By the way, you guys have terrible taste in ships. True. This is the fl I'm sorry if that was really loud. This is the flood from Halo, like- Oh my god! What- what are these guys? Are they even human? Space octopus? Cool, I don't- I have a theory about these- these things and I don't really want to have this theory. Awesome. Space is super cool. Holy shit, you just took them out. Yep, that's the- that's the theory. Come into fruition. Stop it, what is this? I'm not even gonna keep on that panel, guys. Sorry, but the fan service is too much. Data from the viscosity of of this secretion verified. Mimic type parasite beetle 54 or S4. What are these guys? Are they even human? Uh, what a sight we have here. Just hurry up and save me. Stop it. If you can just wait a sec, let me lift this part right here. I'll remember this later, you. Yeah, that's what you get, doctor. You idiot. Happy, wait just a bit more. Ether charge complete. Transformation. Happy is... Oh yeah, they're barely seeing this. How dare you restrain a young woman's body for your... No. Not going there. Unforgivable. <laughs> I like this panel, though. This is definitely something I like. I love her face when she gets upset. I am- I am saved. See, this is what I like to see. The- the strong, like, male lead went and took out a bunch, and now the strong female lead took out a bunch. This is so- this is- this is good. That was really something. Hey, there's another one right behind me. Why don't I lift this part? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was my bad. It's gotta be this room. Redhead. My name is Elsie Crimson. The one who surpasses the Demon King. <laughs> we just talk about this panel right here. This is so cute. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, what does that mean? Oh, I've been waiting for you. Okay. Whoa. Cheeky. A sock cheeky, but why is he trembling? To be continued in- oh my god, wow, plot twist. Alrighty. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna give this chapter is a 4.9. Like, um, only because I don't like the fan service that's going on. Um, that's just my personal opinion, just like I respect your guys' opinions, this is just mine. Um, I feel like if you're gonna have a strong character, maybe ease up on the fan service. I didn't want to mention it before, but in Eden Zero, every single panel that we see Rebecca is either from a low angle where we can see under her skirt or something, and that's not something that I like to see so much of. Um, in Fairy Tale, it was like that, but not as bad. Lately, even with Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, it's been super, super bad. And I think sometimes it does take away from the battle. I'm glad that she was, re like, she s released herself and then she was able to, you know, destroy the rest of those creatures or guys. But a lot of the time it'll get in the way of an actual battle and make it seem less epic as than it is. The plot twist with Elsie or Ursi was amazing. Um, I thought we were gonna keep the same like, oh, Urza's so beautiful type thing. No, that thing looks disgusting, like creepy. What the heck, what does it mean that she surpasses the Demon King? But the Demon King did raise Shiki, so maybe Shiki has a good chance of being able to beat her because I don't know, the Demon King was a robot. 
of some sort, like an AI type robot. And Shiki has ether gear, which I thought was supposed to be more superior. So maybe he does have the upper hand and you know, uh, the demon king was like raising him for this all along. I don't know, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but please, please let me know if anybody plays Halo and how these things look like the flood. Like the flood overtakes somebody's body and then they grow like these really weird limbs. I just cannot. Anyways, I really enjoyed that chapter, so please don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the poll and in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because the notification bell is the most important thing. Um, with my iffy schedule, it is hard to create an actual filming schedule, so the notification bell is there for you guys to be notified of when I do upload. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!